Welcome to the fourth in our series for the Norfolk Great Steam Week, which is going to happen in June. We're here at my track, and we've got lots of different locomotives for you to see today. That one looks as though it's been crossed. Yeah, I can see water there and it uh, disappeared. Right, ideally we'll take it out of the and get it stake up. To let Terry Jason know you want to come because they do insist on working out the running schedule first. Yeah. Here we go. tend to equalise as they get further around. So 60, it's holding at 60, that's fine. And we'll take this to 120, shall we? Because you've got 150 gauge on there. Near enough what you got on there, so that's about right.
Don't get me this wagon. It doesn't matter. Hello and welcome to my store. This is the post and packing department of the White Horse. You probably recognize some of the products that you've seen in my videos. This of course is the Omni Combi unit which is used to control most of the radio control locomotives you see in my videos. But the reason we're here is to look at my computer and to finish off the series on how you do a plan of your... So this is the diagram of my track it's that you've just seen a picture of your track. You can see there's where all the stock is kept. The steaming bay is here. This is the long station. Uh, here is the pond where you s you're going to see locomotives going around the harbour branch. But what I haven't shown you is how to take a black picture and there are three stages one, like. in making a diagram. First you have to do all your plots and draw all your lines by pencil and, by and then scan it where you change the sketch into computer lines as I've shown you using the paint program available to on To colour in a drawing things. I've made up a legend. This is transferred to the drawing by paste and I will use this as a palette to colour in the black and white track there are two which tools I'm interested drawn. in. This one which is colour taking and this one here, the little watering can, is for filling the colour. I'm going to use these the two sampler. tools and there's the little sampler. Come down to your legend and take grey back up to the sampler and take the little can and now if we come over here and we put the little can there, there we are, I see we're greying it up. The elevated track has a red border. So I select the red, come across to here, click it on, and there it is in red. We've got elevated so double palette. track. And this is the Hengeveld halt area with the raised railway going over the inner one. Now if I take the colour from there, bring it down to the station, you can see I can colour in the station, quick as that, dead the easy. The result is a complete plan of the circuit, time to print it. And print, there we go. There we have it, a lovely colour picture of my track. Engineering was like. I can't tell the sounds coming off the first one. 